Aloha Kako. Hello all. It's time for another Aloha Friday and today we are learning Behella. And so we are going to build on what we learned last week. So we learned the Uwehe. So we're going to go through that. And then I'm going to show you Behella and then I'm going to show you a move that actually combines both called the Lele Uwehe. So first let's get into our dancer position. Hands into fist right here on our hips. We're going to bend our knees to tuck our tailbones, engage our abs, and our uehe is step and then kick up your heels. Make sure you are not doing a level change when you kick up your heels. So step, and then we're going to pop our heels up, step, pop our heels up. Make sure you're doing both sides, not just one or the other. And what I mean with that is when we pick up our foot, we want to make sure we don't, we're not doing the same foot. We want to have them alternating. So again, from the side, just make sure you're practicing and try to pop straight forward so that you're really on the balls of your feet. It's a little tricky, so it's perfectly okay to kind of pop your knees out, um, but eventually you do want to pop them straight forward. So now that we practice that, I'm going to show you the hella. So this one, very simple. We're going to, again, hands on our hips, bend our knees. You're just going to point your foot forward and bring it back. It's at a slight angle, so it's not directly in front of you, and it is not this. We are not showing the bottom of our feet. That is considered rude. So, out, in. And again, we are not doing a level shift, so you are not doing this. You're not coming up and going down. It is not, it's not that. Um, your thighs are really absorbing the level change, so you want to make sure that you stay however low you bend your knees or however much you bend your knees, that's where you're staying. So you're going out, back, out, back. And the goal is to try to push that opposite hip um, really far out so that when you do um, do it multiple times, you see a nice sway in your hips. So knees bent, engage those abs, out, out, just like that. Notice how I'm not bouncing around, but my hips are definitely moving. In fact, if I a little bit faster, you might see the nice swish in the skirt. So, it's a very simple move. Just gotta remember to keep those knees bent and to sway your hips out and in. And now when we combine them, it's called a lele away. It's a step, point, back, away. Step, hella, back, away. There is a slight level change. You do come up with the step over, and that is to create a nice swish in your hips. We're all about swishing. <laughs> so, um, bend our knees, engage our abs, tuck our tailbones under, hands as fists right here on our hips. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Step, hella, back, uehe. Step, hella, back, uehe. Step, hella, back, uehe. So this combined those these first two, um, and if you do it up to speed, this is what it kind of looks like. See how there's a slight level shift, and it's really so that you can sway your hips. So step, hella, back, uehe. Step, hella, back, uehe. So keep practicing. <laughs> I will keep challenging you, and we will go over this again next week. Actually, we won't. We have a special guest next week. But we will continue to recap and build upon. Okay? <laughs> keep practicing. I'll slow it down again. Step. Point back away. So practice them both separately. Practice the uehe and practice the hella and then practice the lele uehe. Step hella back away. I know. You'll get there. It's really fun once you get the hang of it. I promise. That's all I have for you this week. We'll see you next week. Aloha.